started to combine calligraphy and graffiti. This piece is about, uh, about the origins of Delhi, so to speak. I want to call it a graffiti writer song. One comes from India, the other comes from Amsterdam. One pushes the boundaries of street art through script, the other shares stories from home. But both share one common canvas. This week, we follow two street artists as they bring their distinct styles to life in Delhi's Lodi Colony and Tughlaqabad. On Color My City. Neil's Shu Muleman is a graffiti legend who prefers to go by Shu. He grew up in Amsterdam, where he began tagging the world around him at age 11. The first object he tagged in 1979 was a shoe, and it led people to think that the shoe was his name. Nearly 40 years later, the name and the passion for street art stuck. Influenced by subway graffiti across New York, Shu began creating his own form of art by blending two styles he knows well. I started to combine calligraphy and graffiti. And I came up with the name Calligraffiti, which is actually now quite a big worldwide movement. As calligraphy, like, I mean, you see like the letters are basically like, you know, from the ancient tradition of calligraphy, but then is reported to the walls and to the streets, hence has a direct connection to graffiti. And calligraffiti right now is like mm, a really important kind of dinner in the entire street art phenomenon. So he's the main representant because he started the movement, so it was like just a column that you can't basically, uh, you know, miss. In this kind of background I made, it, it resembles the New York trains from the 80s. Like on the inside, there were like so many tags and graffiti that you couldn't read anything. Shu aims to document the adventures, good and bad, that he's had through writings on the wall. I think I want to call it a, a graffiti writer's song. There's a lot of stories throughout my artist years and uh, all the places I visited and uh, all the times I got arrested and uh, all that stuff. From tunnels in Paris to containers in Delhi, this installation is an ode to the life of a graffiti artist. You wanna try me, well here it go. go, go. Yeah. You wanna try me, you wanna try me, you wanna try me. For another installation, Shu shows off some of his tools. An unusual replacement for an artist's brush. I've been painting with brooms a lot, but usually more like flat brooms because they can they're they're helpful to make the calligraphy shapes. But here on the street, I mean there's there's so much dust everywhere, so there's a lot of brooms. Inside one of the containers I'm showing all the different brooms and the different effect they have which is, in a way, kind of a conceptual piece. Yeah, it kind of reminds people also of maybe Japanese or Chinese calligraphy. I like it because it's like the lines are like poetry and it's going well with the art that he's done, with the art form of graffiti, because graffiti is not just graphic images. It can be words as well, like a lot of people use it to fight the like, protest or fight the system, so I like that. Roll it, roll it. Roll it. We entered one of these containers and we saw um, these chicks, okay, that you have um, jute, ka, bamboo, chatai types, and uh, somebody's painted over it. So that was quite nice, I mean it's very interesting, you know, breaking away from the general media that they're using here. It's sort of a mockery of what art galleries are. So he's, he's made an installation with jhadus and he's put like lots of black uh, artworks and he's just thrown black paint on them and it makes it look like he, oh it's a gallery but he's actually mocking galleries and it's an art, art space. You're wondering why I'm holding this thing. 
Um, to quote Carlo McCormick, who's a art critic, especially uh, street art, graffiti art writer, he once said, the art world, it's uh, such a mess. It needs a man like Shu with a broom to clean it up. Meanwhile, at a wall in Lodi Colony, an Indian artist is telling a story about Delhi through his mythological mural. This is Amitabh Kumar from Bangalore, who shares stories through comic narratives and sketches. He sees street art as a chance to express these ideas on a large scale, where he believes the public can best encounter his depictions of India. This piece is about, uh, about the origins of Delhi, so to speak. Uh, about how the Pandavas, when they lost the first game of dice, were exiled from Astanapur and were uh, sent to this land of ruins called Khandaprast. And uh, uh, Krishna did some magic. And overnight, Khandaprast became Indraprast, land of the gods. And uh, so, and Indraprast is modern day Delhi, so to speak. And uh, the idea, this narrative is about how the city is held through magic. And how that magic over time is crumbling away and how from Indraprast we're moving back to Khandaprast. And so this piece is more about the land, it's about a disintegration, it's about a certain coming apart, which is why the central motifs are these two giant flowers. He's one of the Indian artists whose work has been changing, it's kind of evolving in a, in a very steady manner. So, Amitabh was definitely an obvious choice to kind of like, you know, give him this one of the central island where he could express himself. Amitabh chose to tell the story of Mahabharata from the perspective of Eklavya's dog, who was shot with 100 arrows. The dog with the stuff coming out of his mouth is my narrator. He's actually uh, Eklavya's dog. Uh, the dog that Eklavya shot a hundred arrows into, he accompanied the uh, Pandavas for the hunt in the forest once again. And that means expression that adapts to the life around the piece, making the street art even more, well, of the street. So what begin to, began to happen was that a lot of dogs poop here. <laughs> and uh, as I kept on painting, more and more dogs kept pooping. I mean, the shit just got fresher and fresher. And I sort of realized that if my work is acting like this graphic laxative for these canines, then might as well acknowledge the fact that it's working. And I, I mean, and I made a big dog poop as my last and final element, uh, sort of associating with this dog. I mean, I changed the form of the dog to sort of work with this dog poop narrative and sort of make it more specific to sight. 50% of my artwork was done by virtue of just this wall being the way it was. And my job was then to respond which is a far more interesting aspect of working in public spaces because then you acknowledge that it's a, it's a living space. You stop seeing yourself as a creator, you see yourself as an initiator. And the work initiates dialogue between the artist and passers-by, which might never have happened in a gallery. It's, it's fabulous, it's fantastic, it's absolutely exceptional. And I think a lot more of this should come up everywhere in all the cities, as much as possible. It was interesting to get an advice like that from, from someone who paints every day. I think uh, it's, it's a huge compliment. I mean, it's the only compliment that really matters. So, he was, I mean, it was the first time he actually came and told me uh, anything of consequence. He was saying that the white at the back is slightly patchy. And if that was, like, if they had even done one more coat, it would be more solid and hence would pop. 
when someone who's who's a professional painter sort of uh, looks at your work and at some levels likes it and can connect to it, that's that's cool. बढ़िया बनाया है, सही है। अच्छा सफाई होगी मतलब सफाई भी होती है, अच्छा भी लगता है, दीवार अच्छी लगती है। मुझे इसलिए पसंद आ रहा है क्योंकि पहले वॉल्स बहुत खाली-खाली से थे, ऐसा लग रहा है, देखने में भी अच्छा लग रहा है। वैसे बरगद के पेड़ का क्या होता है? या तो यहाँ दो औरतें ही खड़ी करी थीं, लेकिन इसके ऊपर तो ये औरत भी है। हाँ, ये तो परी टाइप से लग रही है। After finishing up at ICD, Shu comes to Lodi Colony to work on his second piece, a wall that explores graffiti as the weeds of art. Let go. All I want for my team is transition that's seamless from broke to poor, then poor to good, then good to rich, and I mean this. He is inspired by the connection between calligraphy and nature. The brooms are made of plants, so if you put it in paint and then you paint with it, it looks like plants. So the the plants make the broom and the broom make the plants. Destined for big things, big goals is big goals. I do it big with these big dreams. Don't wake me up if I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming by the new day where I do things. My team, we do big. You know what it is? We running this and they feeling. They want that. Shu writes poetry that reflects in the works he makes. His words are often the bridges that connect one of his pieces to another. Two within my shoes, got nothing to lose, only something to prove. I'ma do the moves as I choose. I'm dreaming about them better days. Where me and crew do what we do. Sun, sun serifs, no letters. No letters, no words. No words, no signs, no names in the street. Uh, just rows of buildings and gardens, sun's weeds. So that's kind of what I'm trying to say that Graffiti are the weeds of art. It's unwanted, but still, it's there. You know what it is? We run in this and they feed it. They want that there. We number one and they the number one to do what we done. Cause we done the sun. They'll wake me up. In typography, sans serif, it means without a serif, without like uh, ornaments. And uh, the, well, the beginning of, of, of lettering in, in like Roman letter, Latin letters. They, they always had serves. Calligraphy is more about uh, ornamenting letters, and, and, and that's what graffiti is about. Uh, everything that's that's kind of the art of of writing. Although Shu's style mostly features black, he drew inspiration from India's chaotic, colorful surrounding and brought these hues into his work. It's my first time in India. And um, yeah, it kind of took me a day to adjust. India is quite colorful, apart, even, even though the, there's a lot of smog and the trees are a little bit gray because of all the dust and everything. But still, it's it's colorful in a literal sense. All I want for my team is transition. I have read about this about some Swedish artist who made it, and some words we use, which we don't understand. But we want to give a message, some good vibes. The calligraphy of of this what is written. The calligraphy of this what is written here. It's very beautiful. It looks very beautiful. The the meaning of few uh, lines I I. Did not understand. Don't wake me up if I'm dreaming. 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 बहुत मजा आया इस चीज को देखें हम हम पर्सनली एक्सपेक्ट नहीं कर सकते इस चीज को और हमें है ही नहीं आठ सूट तो हमारे बस की बात ही नहीं मैंने माना है पिचकारी बजे आप मैं मैं जो नहीं करता झाड़ू से बता होगा ये चीजें
While Shu finishes up in Lodi Colony, we return to Tughlaqabad, where Amitabh studies the staggered canvas he's going to be working with. Start uh, had the show laid out and the template set and we were all given certain sites that we, or islands that we were responding to. Amitabh finds inspiration for his piece in the dumping yard next to the exhibition venue. The dumping yard uh, is like, it's, it's this landmark you really want to ignore. It's like this, this, this creature that you want to, it's there and it's growing and you are feeding it, but you don't want to acknowledge it. And that, that's very peculiar urban problem, so to speak. So it so happened that when this show was happening here, the, 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 the garbage dump uh, stopped. They, they're not dumping garbage in it anymore. So, and for me, compositionally and conceptually, it was perfect because it became a dead beast for me. It became this monster that was, but is no more, you know. This dead, large, humongous giant uh, that is just lying there now, inactive. And I thought that the goriness of that uh, particular urban situation I had the possibility to reflect it again. I, I, I think just as being part of a larger public polity, I don't think I'll attempt gory works in public spaces, so to speak, but the exhibition provided a unique opportunity to me to work in scale and uh, not really, and, and assert my desire for a form more clearly. Which is why this beheaded creature sort of came about as a response to the Tughlaqabad dumping yard. because it's a container, so it has these revoluted surfaces. The more I realize that what I'm basically doing is asserting my own uh, idea on something that's totally contrary to it. Like, to make a straight line, it's impossible. But I was making straight lines in that sense. So, to flatten the structure became the formal ambition of this piece. And I, from certain vantage points, that flattening does happen. And I'm happy that in the span of, what, like two weeks, I could do two pieces that are totally different in ambition, in, in their aesthetic value, in what I hope they achieve. The street art itself has its own different manifestations, but holding it in the container depot, using the container placement and visualizing like even this animal and various other expressions of the artist are just beautiful. एक तरह से से टैप का एक मैंने लेसन पता ट्वेल्थ में नेल्सन मंडेला के बारे में उस टैप का भी चित्र लग रहा है इसका ये बहुत बढ़िया बनाया है या इसके पाँव भी और कलर भी बढ़िया है और मान लो डियान भी बहुत अच्छा बना दिया है लायन पेंटेड ऑन टू थ्री कंटेनर सो आई रियली लाइक बिकॉज गिविंग ए पिक्चर ऑन 3D uh, type of things uh, is sometimes a little bit difficult to uh, because uh, artists can't see the complete things in a holistic way. So th that I think uh, uh, is an interesting. On Shu's last day in India, he created an impromptu piece called Delhi Traffic, which started as a name game. Excuse me, can you put all of our names together like one? Can you just put it now? Next is S N E A K. With every decision, it's like with a great yo. The public who was there for the opening uh, wrote their own names on a piece of paper and he started to write uh, in his calligraphy style all the names forming like you know these sort of like confused patterns because 
after a point of time, like this uh, juxtaposition of all the names form like a sort of black canvas with a lot of drippings here and there, uh, which form like the daily traffic in his opinion. There is graffiti in, in pretty much every city in the world. And it, it was actually funny for me to find out that in Delhi it's, um, it's not so... Uh, there is hardly any graffiti. But maybe through the street art, in a few years, you'll definitely catch up and probably get better than all of us. <laughs> You wanna try me? Well, here it go, go, go. You know it's me against the world.